Your palace would be at home among the great houses of Athens or Mycenae. decides to grace us with his presence, King Jason himself! It only took you all day! If you had announced yourself at the palace, then I would have known you were here sooner, Zeta. Right. Me come to you. I've already come far enough. All the way from Thessaloniki to bring back my brother's body! I am sorry for Menander's loss. May he find his way to Elysium. Not good enough, no, not by a long way, King of Yolkus. There must be compensation, tribute. Your lands here are rich, your herds are fat. Clearly you've grown soft with Zeus's favor shining down upon you. Things are much different on the rocky soil of Thessaloniki. A hard life makes men tough. But you Yulkans wouldn't know about that. Save your insults, Thessalonian. Why don't you just say what it is you want? I will bring my brother's body home. And with it, my ship will be full of Yulkan wheat and sheep. And then... Each year, on the anniversary of Menander's death, you will send ten girls on the cusp of womanhood to me. <gasps> Never! This is what I demand in tribute to the memory of my murdered brother. Is that all? Perhaps you'd like land as well. My palace there on the hill, would that suffice? <laughs> it probably wouldn't. You mock me. I should have expected no less from you. I am not here to negotiate. If you refuse my demand, then my men and I will take our own revenge. If there is no other way to satisfy you, then let us settle this between us. I'm with Jason. Then consider yourself challenged, Warden. Name your terms. My men and I against you and your behemoth. Your guards will take no retribution against me after I kill you. When you fall, I take my brother's body and the tribute I have named back to Thessaloniki. No, don't do it. And your stake? I hold here my brother's mace, a weapon worth more than anything on Yolkus. Blessed by Poseidon himself, this will be my stake. Boo! No one wants it. No. You will swear here and now, before these witnesses, that your family will make no further claim for tribute. Should any try to do so, they will forfeit the honor of your family name. Very well. So I swear. So swears Zeno of Thessaloniki. Tell us when. You boys take all the time you need. Jason of Yulkus dies today! Kill them!
Take your brother home, Zeno. I won't forget this, Jason. Leave the mace. What? Your stake. Do you forget? Bah! A curse on Yilkus! It is a fine mace. Do you think it really was blessed by Poseidon? Who knows? One thing's certain, it'll see more honor with you than that fool. Be careful, King Jason. He had a witch with him earlier. She will still be around. A witch. You don't know that, Thaddeus. You should have seen her. Markings all over her body. And she was asking about the assassin. More like demands, really. Did any of us see him? Where did he come from? She was very interested, all right. Where is she now? Did you see her leave? That we did. That Xeno man was yelling up a storm and I saw her slink off. It was real strange. She had her ears perked like she was listening for something. Then, all of a sudden, she pricks up and she was off like a bolt toward the Crypt of Kings. I heard her say under her breath, I've got you now, as she ran off. I swear on Olympus. Thank you. I'll find her and see what she's up to. I was raised in a village like this. Long time ago. Great Medea, how far the mighty have fallen. Your power has grown feeble. Has it? I, but then, am one of the lie. Forgive me. I lost myself again. 
Are you all right? I am weak, but it will pass. That black tongue called you Medea. I assume that's your name? It is. It's time for answers, Medea. Then ask your questions, Jason. What was that thing that appeared when the Black Tongue died? I was not in control when he was killed. I remember nothing after I let loose my power. You remember nothing. You wield dangerous power, Medea. To others and yourself. There was a time no follower of Hakate could hope to match me. But once I abandoned the Witch Goddess, her protections abandoned me. You were once a Black Tongue? You see the markings I still bear. Are they not answer enough? In another life, I was one of them. Until I realized the powers I gained came with a terrible price. When I heard of the attack here, I came as quickly as I could. Their assassins never work alone. What do you plan to do now, Madame? Continue my work. Hunt or be hunted. That's your fate if you leave the Black Tongues. My wife's father thought he hunted them to extinction. Lycomedes. You know of him? I know that a prophecy he was given is the reason the Black Tongues killed your wife. A prophecy? What prophecy? When your wife was born, King Lycomedes traveled to Delphi and spoke to the Oracle Pelagia. Whatever he was told, it got the Black Tongue's attention. Assassins were dispatched to both Mycenae and Delphi. Lycomedes thwarted the attempt on your wife, and the assassin Lysander failed to eliminate the Oracle Pelagia. It's said he fell in love with her, and together they fled, never to be seen again. So that's why Lycomedes waged his war. Yes. His name was cursed by every black tongue in Greece. I seek to restore my wife. Your knowledge of the black tongues could prove useful. If you try to bring her back, the black tongues will flock to you like moths to a flame. There'd be no need to chase after them. Go to my ship. Tell Argos to give you a room. Jason. Are you sure about this? Your friend is right, Jason. I am not safe to be around. I sometimes lose myself, as you have seen. We can keep your power warded. That is, if you are willing. It would be the only way. Very well, King of Yolkis. I will hunt with you and lend what aid I can. I will prepare the wards to secure your ship. Far too much sorcery being cast about for my liking. Why did you ask her along, Jason? How can you trust her? There are forces at work we know little about. Prophecies, like Amides, the Black Tongues. Knowledge I can hold on to is an advantage. Besides, you saw what she did to that assassin. This is the war armor of the kings of Yolkis, last worn by my father, Trion. I have never had occasion to don this armor. I'd hoped I never would. But Yolkis needs me now. Her queen needs me. The journey ahead may be difficult. This piece of Yolkis will journey with me. When the way ahead looks daunting, remember who you fight for. Yolkis is more than its fair fields and proud bluffs. It is mother to us all. We do not stumble over mountains, my son. We stumble over stones. Step safely over every stone, and you will cross the mountain. Now to see about our ship and Delphi. To the docks.
guys, as you can see, we just defeated Medea and Asker to join our troops. Um, here, do not forget to take the armor because it is way more status. Now that is a boat! Greetings, King Jason. I am the Dark Master, Nestus. May Athena's five virtues be with you always. Do you follow the Virgin Goddess? Aye, sir. I make my devotions to Athena. I find her principles help me lead an ordered and disciplined life. That comes in handy when you oversee the motley pack that works these docks. You mentioned the five virtues of Athena. What are they? Wisdom, justice, courage, discipline, and humility. These are the five virtues of a worthy life. I strive each day to achieve these qualities. Some days are harder than others. Row us out to the ship, Nestus. Of course, sir. Jason, how are you? My heart broke when I heard what happened. This ship was to be a wedding gift. Now it's something else, I suppose. Perhaps it still will be, Argos. Is she ready to sail? Aye. She's girded and fit for open waters. Good. I have her maiden destination. Delphi. Delphi? What in Hades do you want to go there for? I have questions that need answers. Answers I can only find on Delphi. Argos, do you know the way? I've sailed most every patch of sea in Greece, but I've never seen the shores of Delphi. Part of me thinks it's just a myth. There are tales of heroes who've been there. Aye, and each claims it's in a different place. I am sorry, Jason. I can't steer you there. Elias said he would look into it. We should check back with him. Now what about this Medea woman? She says you told her to come aboard. Nearly scared me half to death. She just walked up behind me in the deckhouse. No rowboat, no nothing. It's all right. She'll be coming with us to Delphi. It's your ship. But you need to see what she's done to her quarters below decks. Very well, Argos. I will. It's... irregular. Keep the ship ready. We'll go see if Pelias has learned how to get to Delphi. Do you ever wish for a normal life, Jason? Here landed King Trion's spear, humbling the Athenian upon the sea bed. Drunk from the king's feast, the famed warrior boasted that no Yolkan man could match his thrill. For the honor of his kingdom, King Trion took up his challenge. Great Athena lent Trion her skill, and he unleashed a throw so mighty that boastful Polyside was stricken mute with shame.
I have learned nothing yet about Delphi. I'll continue to think of where an answer might lie. show of humility. 